Hi, this is Dr. Marion Ross. And I'm Dr. Tracy Latz. We're the Shift Doctors. And today we're here with Patricia Hayes, the founder of Delphi University, an ancient mystery school. Patricia, we would love to hear what was your reason behind starting the school and what was the purpose as you walked forward with that? Well, it all started back in 1964. My father had died in 63, and uh, there was some phenomena at the funeral. And I'll keep it brief, but basically that got me very fascinated because the phenomena showed that he was communicating from somewhere, and I had no idea where. So my first experience was a very personal one. And I wanted to find out about that, so I started groups in my home. For the next 10 years, we looked at auras, we did, explored everything in the metaphysical field. And uh, from that, I gained a tremendous amount of experience and I started the Arthur Ford International Academy of Mediumship because I had met Arthur Ford and uh, he had passed over in 1971 and I had a personal experience again where he came through to me when I was a passenger in the car and showed me a concept how to teach people how to be their own channel. In other words, they didn't have to go to somebody else. They could develop their intuition. They could develop it into a perceptive intelligence and be able to use it to help people. And then I found my purpose because uh, I had never felt a strong purpose. I knew I was involved in spiritual things, but I never felt the dedication that I did at that point. And then what I really wanted to do was share everything that I had learned, all of the abilities uh, for other people. And then uh, Marshall and I, in 1981, we went to Egypt mm -hmm. and we went to Greece. And at that point, we started calling our school, the Ancient Mystery School, Delphi University. And what our purpose was is to bring the ancient mystery teachings, which really does begin with the simple fact of we all have intuition. And most of us have a, oh, kind of a dimly lit notion, but there is nothing concrete we can put our finger on to really make us think that it'll happen. Do you know what I mean? Sure. Everyone experiences that because everyone has it. And they get excited when something like that happens, but they can't make it happen again. <laughs> <laughs> and when, what I had learned over the years was how to develop it, how to develop the intuition to a perceptive intelligence, and you can take that as far and as wide as you want to. So it's you, opening it up on demand. It's sort of. <laughs> Opening it up, yes, and uh, when we get into other questions, I'll talk about it more. Very good. Oh, thank you. Where can we learn more about Delphi University and what you've done there? You can learn about it. Uh, Delphi University has a website, and it's uh, www.delphiu.com, and they have a regular order of classes because these things you learn in stages. Mm -hmm. You first must learn to trust your intuition, which helps you in every area of life. Uh, I was a mother of five. I had five teenagers at one time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> and if I would have had my intuition, I would have gone crazy. <laughs> and Marshall tells us that he used intuition in business from the get-go. Yes, yes, he, he did. In fact, I've given many seminars for Kimberly Clark in uh, business training uh, people how to how to actually bond mm -hmm. with the person that they're speaking to because so many people particularly in sales they talk 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 and they haven't really got the person with them yet right. so the question <laughs> is this is a very interesting point it could be a separate video <laughs> <laughs> How do you bond with people using intuition? Well, let's wait till we get into uh, when I talk about the stage mm -hmm. of mind. Wonderful. Because it, it's more, uh, you can really understand it easily 
if you watch the progression of our own mind. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. So um, you actually started Delphi to empower people, to empower themselves, so yes. they wouldn't have to go to a psychic or <laughs> yes. a wild so they could all do it themselves. <laughs> they could all do it for their own, in their own personal life. Mm -hmm. You see, we can all help people, but what really counts is how are we living in our own daily life. Right. Are we calm? Uh, and there's so this this is such a big field, because most people go like a yo-yo. Something out here makes them happy, and they're happy, mm -hmm. and then somebody calls and hurts their feelings, and they're depressed. So it, I call it the yo-yo effect, <laughs> up and down, up and down, mm -hmm. and all is dependent on external conditions. Forces, right. Yeah, forces exactly. So. Maybe we should go to the mind first, because that kind of lays the groundwork to talk about everything else. Okay, great.